This is Susan Bradley, and I'd like to give you a tip on how you can tame your technology. Now, we've all come across every now and then a Windows update that's causing us issues. Now, first and foremost, I want to make it clear I'm not advocating turning off Windows updates. I want you to install updates. I want you to do them when it's right to do it. I want you to do it when it's not causing issues. So if there's an update that's causing side effects, we want to pause it or block it. And in August of 2022, there's a specific update, KB5012170, that's causing issues with some machines. Now, it's my opinion that especially in a consumer and home environment, that updates like this are not needed. This is an enterprise style update. The security issue is for enterprises, not for individuals. So especially when this kind of update causes issues, causes you to have concerns, causes system issues, it's okay to block this or hide this. And there's several ways you can do it. And on this website called blockapatch.com, I've made it easy to find all the different ways and tools that we can do that. So first and foremost, Microsoft has one themselves. They call we call it with us show hide. I don't know how they call it, but WU Windows Update Show Hide dot diag. And I want you to click on that update that link right there. And it will try to download it. Now depending on the browser you use, you may get a message like this. I have um, some additional security protection on this particular workstation, so I get this really nasty warning that says it's being blocked because this type of file can harm your device. Well, sorry, it's not that the file can harm my device, it's actually going to help it in certain circumstances. So sorry Microsoft, you're putting a warning where it really shouldn't be. So I'm going to go up here to the dot dot dot, and I'm going to say keep. And now that it's open, I'm going to click Open File. And see how it says Show or Hide Updates? I'm going to click on Advanced. I'm going to unclick on this Reply Apply Repairs Automatically. I'm going to click on Next. It's now doing a process where it's basically looking at what updates are in my system. And this may take a little bit of time, so be a little patient. And you can see what updates are available. And it's showing a driver for a brother printer and I don't want to install that. And as you can see that these are, um, I've hidden it from the system. Now I'm going to go back and do this a second time because I'm going to show you again, once again, I'm going to Uncheck repl Apply Repairs Automatically. And again, be patient. And this time I'm going to click on that Hide Updates because I want to see what updates are being offered up to me. And on this particular machine, I'm not being offered up that particular update, but you can see there's some other drivers that I may not want. So again, anything that you don't want to install just go ahead and click, and it will not install on your machine. And the next time you scan for updates, or the next time it offers up updates, it's not going to show you that particular update. Click Next, and it will hide the update from your system. And that's it. And again, it takes a little bit of time for it to run. And that's it. There's other tools that I've got on this site, and if you scroll down, there's also something called the Windows Update Mini Tool. And you can go to oldergeeks.com, and I'll open that in a new tab. And you scroll down to Older Geeks, and down at the bottom, where it says Download Now, right there. Click on Download Now. And again, be a little patient because it's a bit of a big file. Click on Open File. 
Let's try that again. And I want you to click on Extract All. I'm going to extract it. Oops, I think I've got it in here twice. Yours won't do that. So now that you've got this folder, I want you to un click underneath and you'll see a Windows Update Mini Tool. Click on there. It's going to again, because it doesn't recognize this file is not digitally signed, it's okay to click on Run Anyway. The Older Geeks site has already tested it. It's going to do a Windows update. And on this one, you click on this little button over here to have the same similar kind of check for updates process. And again, be patient. And it's going to run through its thing. And again, recognize those drivers that I said I didn't want before. Same kind of list. And again, if you don't want any particular driver, just click, go ahead over here. See this little update over here, a little button that says hide updates? And it will hide it and you won't see it again. Last but not least is a similar tool. It's um, built on a slightly different platform, .NET, I believe it is. And basically, um, we'll direct you over to Ask Woody. And we've got screenshots and step-by-step -step on how to, to run that program. Works about the same, looks about the same. Again, you click on the, the scan for updates, and then you hide whichever one you don't want. Same process. So that's it. Those are three tools to help you out on how to block a specific Windows update. As always, we're here to help you out on AskWoody.com. Come out to the forums. If you have anything on any technologies, we cover Windows, Apple, Linux, hardware, the Internet of Things, Android, Chromebook, you name it, we talk about it. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley. Thank you again.